Hey YouTubers, Easy to Spy here again. So earlier I showed you the electrical diagram. Um, if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out if you're interested in that. In this video I'll be showing you the cooling water diagram. So I couldn't find an actual line diagram for this so I made some art for you guys. Check it out. Isn't that beautiful? So nice. So, here's the general layout. It's fairly, a fairly simple system. So here's a shot of my dirty, dirty pump. Um, and everything kind of starts back here. So, you'll see that looped around hose. Now on the bottom side, bottom right there, you'll see it dives into the housing. And what that does is it allows water, as it's passing through the pump, to be forced into that hose. So the hose goes up and goes back into the hull and it follows up on the side here and eventually it crosses over and you'll see it comes out, you'll see that white line right there that comes out of the firewall, goes up and it actually dives into the bottom side of the exhaust manifold and you'll see that here. So water comes in, exhaust manifold, it flows through the exhaust manifold up across into the block itself it comes up through the um, the head here and then it actually exits out this side over here and as it exits it goes through the uh, first part of your exhaust manifold here and it goes from two different places here so there's a jumper that goes from the top side of your the initial part of your exhaust port or exhaust manifold here and goes back down to the lower portion and there's also a bit that leaves the exhaust here in the form of your pisser and it comes out the side here and that basically just indicates that everything's funct functioning you've got water flowing through the engine um, it's basically just an early warning to let you know what's going on and from there the remainder of the water flows through your expansion chamber uh, through your water box and out the exhaust and it ultimately comes out the end so that's really all there is to it, it's a pretty simple system, this is the stock um, layout I should say, there are a variety of other combinations that some people use, um, they've got double um, cooling water intakes and exit ports and all that jazz. So if you're unsure whether or not this whole thing is working, there's a couple things you can do. First of all, if you want to make sure that water is getting uh, from your pump uh, at least into the inside, you can disconnect this hose and you can hit it uh, going backwards with compressed air. Never hit your engine with compressed air. It'll force water into places it should not go. Secondly, you can go ahead and disconnect each one of these tubes completely by themselves. Isolate them, push water through them, push air through them. Just make sure that they're cleared out um, and that's a really good way to test it. Um, also, when this is on the water, uh, you can disconnect a few hoses to make sure water is coming through. Uh, the way it's supposed to, but if these sit around for a while, um, or even if you run them for a while in some pretty nasty water, these can build up with debris, so it's always good to check it out. One more common setup is to have a um, a cooling line uh, installed, so you can test your ski out of water. What it does is it allows you to run a small amount of water through your engine, uh, without having to be in the water and it just lets it trickle through and keep everything cool I don't have that installed yet I plan on making a video for it I will make it completely separate and apart from this video so you can see how it works um, otherwise that's really all there is to the cooling lines if you've got any questions throw it out there I'll answer it or incorporate it in the video otherwise thanks for watching